was a day of joy, thanksgiving and merriment as family members, friends and well-wishers organized a surprise birthday dinner to celebrate Dr. Patrick Omolayoli as he clocked 60. In their various goodwill messages, family members, friends described the celebrant as a fair-minded man, a corporate layer, and a man loved by many. Oh, we thank God for your life. We thank God that today, 8th of, of the 2018, you are 60 years old. And I want you to remember your past. So many good things that you did when you were young, when you were in your college. So many things that you did when you were in government college, if I know. So many things that you did when you were in the land. God Almighty will continue to be with you. When you walk in the afternoon, the sun shall not smite you in Jesus' name. When we walk in the night, the moon shall not smite you in Jesus' name. 10,000 will fall beside you, but God will come near you in Jesus' name. I want to celebrate your success. One thing about you that I will never forget is your greatness. After every exam, you will come there and say, well, answer will never see me, answer will never see me. A more leads it and sticks in his brain, and he gives it out, you know, and uh, he's a top great scholar. Brilliant guy by, by excellence. He's done wonderfully well. A medical doctor of voice. A politician of stature. A businessman extraordinary. A, you know, a statesman. And it's so good to see that you've done so well. And I just wish that as the toast come and as the years go, the strength of the world will finish in Jesus' name. We used to play a you know, game together, travel all over the country, in either one situation or uh, one land over or whatever, and do things together. Uh, those were good days, but since then we have moved substantially. I have a lot of reasons to look back at your life, and I have to thank God that you are sitting down here. The good times are the not so good times, but you have, you have survived. You have more life than a bunch of cats. You have done great. God has been kind to you. God has blessed you with uh, many who have been there in sickness and when you stay. And this is your wonderful daughter, who is now a mother herself. There are two ladies in his life. I want to congratulate both of you. Uh, mother and my daughter, excellent job. Uh, you made his life shine. One thing that uh, we all knew before, and this was why, uh, in hindsight, we can see that he excelled, was that he was an excellent manager of his time. People have said that he's a very brilliant guy. <coughs> of course, he is. He's not just brilliant with schoolwork, he's also very brilliant at discussing. A wide range of issues. I don't know how many of you have taken up uh, or more on political issues, economic, economic issues, at meetings and at fora. You see him analyzing and subdividing and summing and integrating and doing all sorts of things together. And that is a more for you. He became a friend to my dad. That uh, became um, somewhat uh, problematic for us. It was a problem. And then uh, he became the, the, they were seen as a bit afar off from where his clinic was situated. But he always wanted to go to him. I mean, that shows a lot of love mm -hmm. and the, the attention he would give. I want to say a very big thank you to you, Doctor, for taking very good care of my dad. I really saw the world of you. Thank you. I knew Doctor when everything was wrong and rough for my family. Dr. Molayoli was the savior for the family. Even when I entered university, he told my parents, he said, wait, if it is for this one, I will see him to university. After university, I came to Lagos, he was there. 
where do I stay is a no problem. My first job was to combine, combine technology. Second job was to combine technology. As I'm speaking to you, I'm a regional manager in the bank. But there's no way I will not change my own back to Dr. Moya. Brandt, who could not hide his happiness, appreciated members of his family and his friends for showing him so much love on this special day. I thank God who has taken me through smooth roads and rough roads at the same time. But there are more of them smooth roads than rough uh, roads. For me, it has been a very long journey. Times of happiness, times of sadness. But I provide God that be more of happiness than sadness. I pray, thank you, Lord, Lord, that when I celebrate another 60 years, all these places will be allowed to support me. His wife, Mrs. Bemi Omolayole, described him as a great family man who has touched the lives of those around him. My husband is a family man, a very loving man, who will go out of his way to do anything for anybody. He is a man that never keeps malice. Our mom will not go to bed if everything is not at peace. I love you. Yes, Omo is a very loving, very forgiving. Uh, he goes extra mile to, you know, put everything together. The event was colorful and spiced up with a lot to eat and drink, and of course, good music. <laughs> Omo is a sweet friend, a nice friend, a reliable person, uh, and a politician to the core, although he doesn't contest election. 
but he packages those who contest the election. He's a political administrator and a convener of good development in our country. And I'm very happy to be here to celebrate his birthday at CC. I pray that uh, Bengamola will live longer for so many years with good health. I can conveniently say that without missing any words together and without boosting anybody's ego that he is a gentleman par excellence. A gentleman who stature is louder than his voice. Benga is a cool guy, cool and strong, highly intelligent and very loving. He can be stubborn at times, let me put it that way, especially when we were young. <laughs> so overall, he's, he's a wonderful brother and he has one quality among the six of us. He loves, he loves family. We are looking for a brother who loves family, who wants family, brothers, sisters to be together and around him and you know, he's number one in that and he cares for all. He's been inspirational, he's been a mentor, he's been a father figure, you know, he's been a, he's a, a shoulder to lean on in hard times as well and he's been an easygoing father-in-law and you know, it's not easy to find that nowadays. Um, but overall, he's a great man. I'm sure we've all heard today, um, through the testimonies of everybody, how much of an impact he's had in everybody's lives. Not, as, not only as a doctor, um, but as a person as well. My dad is someone that's very caring. He puts everyone else first before himself. Um, very loving, pays great attention to detail. He's not very strict, I would say. Fun, loving. Uh, what else? Uh, extremely supportive, very, very intelligent, doesn't take no for an answer, and um, you can never win an argument with him. <laughs> that is for sure. He was always there for all my milestones. As a child, he changed my diapers, he fed me. School, prize giving day, he was always there taking pictures. So I really admire the fact that he never missed any of those moments always made an extra effort to be there for me. I wish him an additional 60 years, uh, long life in good health and um, prosperity and a few, not many, a few more grandchildren. He's a very peaceful man. Um, he allows me to do whatever I want to do. He's not a fussy person. He's very gentle and he's a very considerate human being. I wish him good health, long life, prosperity. And I pray God grants him all his heartfelt desires, far more than he has ever prayed for. I will advise him to continue to be Dr. Patrick Olupe Migamola Ole that he is. It's a time to really thank God for giving me the grace to spend um, 60 years on this planet. All glory and uh, adoration goes to God. I feel fulfilled at 60, honestly, because um, God has always answered my prayers. I didn't expect anything this much, at least um, not of this magnitude. I thank my fa family, especially my wife and daughter, and my son-in-law, you know, for putting this together. I thank my friends too for giving this surprise, for being part of the whole event. I have done most of the things that uh, my contemporaries have, been, have done at this age, and um, I leave the rest to God, hoping to do His will all the time. For the celebrant, attaining the age of 60 is a dream come true and he looks forward to many more years in good health and sound mind.